and along the lines of the trilateral meet another crucial diplomatic meet took place this week indian foreign secretary harshvardhan shringla went to nepal on a two day visit shringla met with prime minister kp sharma oli and foreign minister pradeep gawli on his maiden visit to nepal shringla was welcomed by his nepalese counterpart bharat raj podyal Indian Foreign Secretary also met Nepal's President Bidya Devi Bhandari. The leaders discussed ways to strengthen India-Nepal friendship. The coronavirus pandemic was a major talking point in the bilateral dialogue, where India gave its assurance that Nepal's requirement of vaccines will be considered on priority. We are on the cusp of the availability of a vaccine for the novel coronavirus, as the world's largest manufacturer of vaccines. India is at the forefront of this effort. We have at least five promising vaccine candidates at an ad at advanced stages of trials. Dozens of sites across India are conducting vaccine trials on all ages and social groups. I would like to assure the people of Nepal that once a vaccine is rolled out, meeting Nepal's requirement would be a priority for us. Sources reveal that both K P Sharma Oli and Harsh Shringla had a candid review of the state of the bilateral relationship, and one focused on the potential for bringing India and Nepal even closer. When Nepal conveyed its desire to build on the momentum in the bilateral relationship and enhance the level of bilateral engagement, what was Nepal's reaction to the meet? Saroj Gautam tells us more about it. Many people in Nepal feel that Mr. Shringla's visit has bridged. the gap of top level diplomatic talks that was held for some times apart from many bilateral issues two sides chose to pay special attention to covid-19 pandemic they have shared their experiences of handling this pandemic indian side has assured nepal once the corona vaccine is available nepal will be in the top priority to provide the corona vaccine both side has felt that there is a need of creating new avenues of connectivity and creating new economic initiatives for that nepali government has already approved air travel bubble between two countries